हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय वीडियोस माय सेल्फ अश्विन आय फ्रॉम टुडे लेट वी स्टार्ट नाउ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सोशल साइंस इन द जियोग्राफिकल पार्ट चैप्टर थर्ड द चैप्टर नेम इज क्लाइमेट सॉइल नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड एनिमल्स ऑफ कर्नाटका दो दिस चैप्टर we have to study it in this today so what are the main objectives we have to study in this chapter okay let me see that okay look at that chart the first of all in this chapter we have to study in the main features of climate of karnataka and then about the seasonal changes in the climates of karnataka and seasonal distributions of rainfall in karnataka and its effects the types and distributions of soil in karnataka and then the types the distributions of natural vegetation and animals of karnataka so these are all objectives we have to study in this chapter okay let me start step one by one the main features of the climate of karnataka climate karnataka has tropical monsoon climate the main characteristics of this climate are hot and moist summer and the cool and dry winter okay look at this map in this map the characters of this climate it is to be very hot the more summer and the cool and dry winter okay look at the globe but there is a diversity in the climate of the state the main reason for this the diversity are the influence of geographical location the oceans the physical features vegetation and the monsoon winds hence the the annual temperature and distributions of this rain are not at the same all over that the states and next we have to see the the climate seasons okay how many seasons in the the climates of this karnataka okay first of all we can classify the climate of this karnataka over the period of once a year as can be done with the climates of india into the the four parts so mainly we have to consider the four parts of climates in the karnataka so which are the okay look at that at the first one the summer season it is to be started on march to may and second one the rainy season it is to be started to june to september and the third one the period of retreating monsoon it is starts on october to november and the fourth one the winter season it is to starts on the december to february so this time we can consider that mainly the four parts to classify the climate of karnataka and the next we have to take on to the, the first part the summer season so during this season it is very hot and dry and slattery so after the march the temperature rises the unformally all over the the state and reach the the maximum during the the april and the may so it is reached to the the maximum temperatures rising on this the april and may months and the rayachuru has recorded the temperature of the 45.6 celsius and it is the the hottest place in the karnataka in the summer season the temperature is high 
even in the other district even in the other districts of this northern maidan it general the the whole of karnataka experience the hot climate condition during at this time the humidity is lower in the the north maidan maidan than in the the southern maidan in the summer due to the great evaporation the rain bearing clouds are pro produced and they the bring conventional rain along with the lightning and then thunder okay look at this the hailstones fall in the some places this generally takes the place for the short time during this afternoon since this shows able to flowering the coffee plants they are called to the the cherry blossoms the flowers of coffee plants they coffee plants they are called that the cherry blossoms and since they helps to the the mango crop they are also known as the the mango shower about that 7% of the annual rainfall of this state occurring during this season so this is the the information about the summer season and then next we have to go into the the second part the rainy season rainy season so this is also known as the the season of south west monsoon wave okay look at that the south western monsoon winds the western god check the the moisture laden the winds blowing from the the arabian sea returning in the heavy winds as it smooth the the eastward the amount of this rainfall gets reduced this is the it because to the the eastern maidan is in the rain shadow rain shadow area so agumbe is an area of heavy rainfall okay look at that so agumbe is the area of heavy rainfall hence it is called to the chirapunji of the south india so agumbe at present it is to be very rainfall of this in our state especially especially in karnataka so hence it agumbe is called to the the chirapunji of south india because it is only the reason for the the heavy rainfall so bagamandala and ulikal are the other places of this heavy rainfall and then the nayaknati near chalkere in chitradurga records to the the lowest rainfall okay look at that map so agumbe it is to call to the the chirapunji of south indian because it is to be heavy rainfall in the rainfall of this district but in this chitradurga district the nayaknati near to the chalkere is the the lowest recorded of this the rainfall and during the season the entire state and temperature is very high as a result the relative the humidity it is very also high 
This is the cloudy atmosphere clouds. So during this season, the Karnataka receives the about the eighty percentage of its rainfall. This helps to that in the cultivation of karif crops. And the next, the third part, the period of rest retreating monsoon. So this is also called the the north east monsoon due to the decrease in temperature. Increasing in this pressure, the winds blow to the the north east to the the south west. These winds are dry because they blow from the land. The winds which blow from the Bay of Bengal. So during the little rain to the districts of this southern Maida. So, beside due to the cyclone, come from the Bay of Bengal during the November to December. So, rainfall occurs. So, during this season, the state reaches about the the twelve percentage of this rainfall. In this period, the weather condition are uncertain. It is to be the period of retreating. Monsoon, and the next the fourth one, the winter season. During this season, the temperature, humidity, humidity means what that? What that? Anthony, you tell me, Anthony, Adrathy, Anthony, could have said. And rainfall are low. The sky is clean. The average temperature is between the the twenty five percent. Twenty five per twenty five Celsius to twenty seven Celsius. So January is the the month the which record the the lowest temperature. It is called the the tourist month of the state. So January in this month it is to the the lowest temperature on the month. So it is recalls on the tourist month of the state. The minimum temperature recorded in Belgavi at least to the the six point seven Celsius. There is a low temperature in the other northern districts. For example, Vijayapura, Kalburgi, and Bida. The rainfall. During winter, in is in that the minimum. So only the one percentage of the total rainfall is received during in this time. There is a heavy fog occasionally early in this morning of this winter season. at the last one it is not to be least the distributions of this rainfall the mallar and the coastal plains receives the the heavy rainfall the eastern maidan are the hours of the low rains so after drought and floods occur due to the the uneven and uncertain rainfalls So this is the the futures of this climate and its parts. And then the how the seasonal changes in the climates of Karnataka. So these are all you have to study in this today. And then the seasonal distribution, the rainfall in the Karnataka and its efforts. This is to be. Studying on this, the climates of this Karnataka. Thank you for watching this videos.